According to the CDC, about 610,000 people die of heart disease in the United States every year. That's one in every four deaths. So February is American Heart Association's American Heart Month. It's a time to raise awareness about heart disease, the warning signs, and how people can prevent it. Shelley Botot has more in Health Watch. Did you know there's a difference between a cardiac arrest and a heart attack? Knowing the signs of both could save your life. Kevin Service is very active and takes care of himself. I've worked out consistently, um, haven't drank for 14. I mean, I eat fairly healthy. In 2017, Kevin woke up and thought he had worked out too hard the day before. I thought a backache, I had a pulled muscle. But it wouldn't go away. So he went to Aurora Baycare Medical Center's urgent care, but was sent to the emergency room and landed in the care of emergency physician Carrie Ahrens. It wasn't a pulled muscle. And that EKG for him showed me a heart attack. Kevin's right coronary artery was 100% blocked. He needed a stent and was sent to the catheterization lab. The cardiologists who are trained in this profession um, feed a wire through an artery that goes all the way up into that artery of the heart and then they deploy a stent through that clot and the stent opens up and it essentially opens up the, the uh, blood vessel. Restoring blood flow to the heart. There is a difference between a heart attack and a cardiac arrest. They're not mutually exclusive. So a heart attack is when you have a, an artery that feeds the heart that gets blocked. It gets clotted off by clot or a plaque. And then if that heart is blocked long enough, it can stop the heart. That's a cardiac arrest. Both have similar symptoms. Men's symptoms, typically you get that left side of chest pain. It can travel up their neck. It can radiate across their chest. It can travel down their arm. They can get numbness and tingling in their arm. They can have pain that goes into their back. Women can have the same symptoms, but also pain in the stomach area, nausea, unexplained tiredness, and cold sweats. If you have any of these symptoms, you call 911. Kevin is lucky he went to the hospital. These are the people who don't wake up in some cases. Kevin believes Dr. Aaron saved his life. Absolutely. She was amazing because she was the one that caught it. He appreciates the care he received at Aurora Bay Care. My experience was incredible from the doctor, all the nurses I had. Kevin says he feels better now than he did before the heart attack and has a better outlook on life. While I'm above ground, I'm going to have a good attitude and I'm going to enjoy myself. Heart disease is a leading cause of death for both men and women. To learn more, you can call Aurora Bay Care or email healthwatch at auroraybaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News. There's new hope for cancer patients whose treatment